Hi, I'm Catherine, and we're at the Mountain Thread Company in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. And we've had some videos showing you how to get started on a coiled rope basket, setting your machine, choosing a thread, and most importantly, choosing a good quality rope. So today what we're gonna do is we're going to start a round basket by coiling rope and zigzag stitching. Now the first thing you need to keep in mind is your zigzag stitch needs to actually be kind of precise. So if you have two layers of rope coming together, you're gonna land a zig on one piece of rope and a zag on the other. It's a little bit of a different way to think through a zigzag stitch. But as your rope is coiled up, the zigzag stitch is what's gonna hold one layer to another. So we have a zig here and a zag there. All right, I'm gonna show you the ropes. All right, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the cut end of the rope. And it's okay if it's a little bit frayed, that'll actually fold in pretty nicely. So you take that cut end of the rope and coil it up pretty tightly. You want that beginning coil to be about an inch across. And I'm gonna flip it over this way. This is actually pretty important. You want that beginning coil to look like the letter Q. So the extra rope is gonna come down and to the right of that coil, the letter Q. <laughs> okay, so we have our um, coil here with the rope coming down and to the right. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is just a few temporary stitches to hold that coil together. Now I do have this set on a zigzag stitch. And we're gonna go across kind of like a plus or a T. If you want to add some extra stitches in there, make it look like an X and a T. So you have a lot of stitches just kind of temporarily holding that coil together. We call these basting stitches. Okay, what we're gonna do now, now that we have this coil basted pretty well, is back stitch and go to the very center of the coil. Okay, now from here, this is where you start to zig and zag pretty precisely. So I'm gonna do a few zig and zag stitches and start moving my fingers around and around so that the coil holds together. I'm gonna to put my needle in the down position. Okay, and I can pivot as I need to to get a lot of zigs and zags right in there. Now it might feel a little chaotic, a little messy, but that's okay. You're trying to hold lots of layers of rope together and there's gonna come a point where it starts to get a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna undo this. Okay. Now again, think about the zig landing on one piece of rope and the zag landing on another. And if your machine, if your presser foot here has a little notch in the middle, that's gonna be really handy because that's where your layers of rope are gonna come together centered right there and your zig is going to land where it needs to and the zag is going to land where it needs to okay one last time around and there we go all right i'm going to stop right there so you can see right here there are a lot of zigs and zags in there a lot of stitches that overlap one another and what we've done is we've zigged and zagged layers of rope together, and that is the beginning of our round coil. That's gonna make a really awesome basket. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. So there we go. That is the beginning of a round basket. Thanks for letting me show you the ropes. <laughs>